If you need to be on your game for a test or you need to be on your game for some kind of performance thing or you need to be on your game because you're public speaking or maybe you have an important Zoom call or an important conference call and you want to sound smarter, trust me, it works. I discovered something kind of interesting, all right? So I'm always trying to find ways to kind of hack my brain, get a little bit more of that cognitive edge. Look at, yes, I'm a fitness guy. Yes, I'm a nutrition guy. But if you haven't put things together, I'm also a business person, right? I'm running multiple businesses and I, I need to have my brain on, especially when I'm filming. So I started putting together a lot of the biochem stuff that I've been looking at surrounding what is called lactate. Now, it's kind of cool because if I train a very specific style, which by the way, isn't even that intense or time intensive, and couple that with some interesting nutritional hacks, I find that my brain is just lit up. And we have to look at it from gene expression, which is a pretty complicated thing that I'll make simple. And then we have to look at it from metabolic byproduct known as lactate when we work out. And then we have to look at what you could actually consume or even not consume to get this benefit. So let's go ahead, let's dive in, let's get a little bit nerdy and let's find a way to boost the brain for the day. Okay, please do hit that red subscribe button, also hit that bell icon. This video is for informational purposes only. This is novelty, this is fun. Okay, don't try this at home, ask your doctor, all that stuff. I'm not a doctor, but I am some dude on the internet that happened to lose 100 pounds and know some biochemistry. Okay. So the main thing I want to focus on is I want to talk about lactate for a second. Okay, we've all heard of lactic acid before. Lactic acid is what builds up or what we think builds up when we are training at a higher intensity. So let's say, for example, you ride a bike, just because it's a perfect example, and you're riding up a hill. Inevitably, you're going to get to a point where your legs start to burn. Okay, that burn up until recently was thought to be lactic acid. Well, there is a lactic acid response that's occurring, but the burn, believe it or not, is actually coming from uh, usually hydrogen and what's called inorganic phosphate from the creation of energy via the ATP pathway, creating ATP, creating energy. Okay, what that means is that it's not necessarily lactic acid that's causing the burn. It's usually hydrogen and inorganic phosphate. What we're seeing now with the research is that lactate is more of an adapt uh, adaptation, excuse me. So basically what that means is the lactate is coming in and assisting in the recovery. So here's what's wild. Recent research is showing that lactate, the burn that you get, okay, that lactic acid actually gets taken back up by the cell and gets turned directly into energy for the muscle. Let me say that again. That burn creates a product. That burn gets sucked back into the cell and creates energy. Did we just create a perpetual motion device? I mean, that's what this is. So if you can like kind of figuratively or literally work through the burn, that burn is actually going to give you more fuel. Then you look a little bit further at some more research, you see, wow, that lactic acid gets converted back into glucose via the Cori cycle. So complicated biochemistry stuff. Okay, let me just get down to the brass tacks of this. If we work out a certain way for a short amount of time where we stimulate a bunch of lactate, we can have that lactate literally be fuel for the brain and literally improve, I mean, I'm saying literally a lot, but literally improve what's called brain-derived nootropic factor, okay? So the nutritional piece of this, while you are working out, which I'll show you what you would wanna do in just a minute, okay, usually wanna be sipping on some coffee, Okay, so what I have here is I have Four Sigmatic Lion's Mane coffee, which I'll talk about in a second. I like this because I can mix it just into a water bottle and literally drink it cold. Okay, so two big reasons we're drinking this. One, the coffee reason. Okay, I like to sip on coffee during my workout because the polyphenols in coffee actually trigger autophagy and they actually activate what is called the AMPK pathway. This AMPK pathway uh, basically signals the body to create A, more energy, but B, sort of tells the body that you're in a deficit. So you're gonna to wanna to work out in a fasted state, you're gonna sip on some lion's mane coffee, and the reason we're sipping on lion's mane coffee is because the lion's mane has been demonstrated to stimulate brain-derived nootropic factor. So long story short, again, I know I'm jumping all over the place with this. Because the kind of workout that we're going to do is going to stimulate lactate, which stimulates brain-derived neurotropic factor, which virtually makes your brain light up more, okay? 
if we consume something that has also been demonstrated in studies to stimulate brain-derived nootropic factor and nerve growth factor, it's a double whammy, okay? So there's a link down below if you wanna check out Four Sigmatic. You can use instant coffee if you want to, but the lion's mane coffee is arguably better because of the lion's mane itself, which has the effect on the brain. So I highly recommend you check them out down below. There's a special link with a special discount down below in the description. They are a big supporter of this channel. They have been for years. This isn't just a one-off video. It just happens to fit and it's very relevant. So please do check them out down below. They're a big part of my intra workout routine. All right, so that being said, any kind of lion's mane, stuff like that's gonna increase BDNF. When we work out, we want to create as much lactic acid as possible, okay? So if I was to go into the gym and say, okay, I have to film today. I need to try to find a way to get uh, the biggest brain performance, biggest bang for my buck. I'm gonna do massive eccentric movements that are going to get me the biggest burn. Today is not a day to try to get a workout that is all about muscle building. That's not our goal. Today is a day to get a burn. So why do I want eccentric movements? Because whenever I'm doing something like this, where I'm doing a slow eccentric move, the muscle is staying contracted. And when the muscle is staying contracted, okay, come up again, do eccentric moves. Okay, I'd be doing this probably with two arms, but when that muscle is contracted, it is creating waste. That waste signals the lactic acid to come in and do its job, okay? Now, the more waste that we create, the more lactic acid we produce. So it's not the time to lift heavy. Lifting heavy is good for your nervous system. Lifting heavy, you do not get that lactic acid burn. Your nervous system fries before anything else and you just quit. That's why when you lift heavy, you don't usually feel a burn, you just mm, get weak, right? We're going all about the burn. Now, what are some ways that you can improve the burn, okay? There's simple ways doing modified BFR techniques. Now I know the guys that make the good BFR bands are going to hate me for even showing this, but some of the ways that you can do things, and remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm just some guy on the internet. Um, you can do things like this where you actually cut off a little bit of circulation. Don't do it tight, but these are just regular bands, okay? Not going tight, okay? Word to the wise. I would normally use like a BFR band and actually pump it up to the right PSI or pump it up to the right pressure, okay? But those aren't the cheapest thing in the world and I wanna make this practical, but if you have BFR bands, use those. And literally, you're just doing things like this, like lunges. I'm trying to trap lactic acid. I'm trying to get a burn. So I might just do some lunges. This is all improv here. Okay, I'm already burning because circulation is cut off to a certain degree and it's trapping that lactic acid and it's creating more as a result. Remember, lactic acid is not just the burn. The lactic acid is a signaling device. That's what the science is showing. It's a signaling device that tells our brain, okay, it's a messenger, it's not a burn. When the lactic acid shows up, it's telling the brain to signal muscle growth, to signal different response as far as adaptation, to signal the AMPK pathway and to signal BDNF in the brain, okay? I'm creating as much of a burn. I don't care how many reps you do. You could add a little bit of weight to get there faster, okay? If you want to make it safer, go unilateral. If you wanna get a faster effect, do both legs, okay? Again, there's full BFR workouts you can do. That's not the point here, okay? We're trying to focus on as much as we can. Now, another thing you wanna do is lots of drop sets, okay? so. The reason that drop sets work so well for building up lactic acid is because you are frying each phase uh, or each type of muscle fiber, okay? So if I go and I do a heavyweight, let me just show you. Um, let's say I start with these, start with some 40s, right? Okay, and I'm doing curls. And let's say I fatigue right now. Okay, I fatigue at eight. Okay, there's eight. And I drop down and I keep going and I go to 30. Well, now I'm engaging different muscle fibers to a certain degree, still the same muscle fibers, but also some different ones, all the way to a burn. Keep on going down the rack. You can do this with minimal equipment. How do you do it with push-ups? Again, you could just start up, go to failure on your feet, drop to your knees, go to failure, okay? 
trying to get that burn as much as we can. So all the while sipping on that coffee because A, the polyphenols in the coffee are triggering the autophagy, but B, the caffeine, but in this case, again, keeping the lion's mane going. Just to explain further how the lion's mane portion works, okay? Lion's mane stimulates what's called nerve growth factor. Nerve growth factor has been demonstrated in multiple studies to stimulate the growth of new neurons, stimulate the growth of new brain cells. So what we need to do is we need to have that brain fertilizer along with some extra water and extra sunshine coming in from the lactate response. So fun fact, there was another study that showed that they were quite literally injecting lactate into individuals, into subjects. And they were finding that it was direct fuel for the brain. The brain could soak up the lactate and use it as a direct fuel outside of glucose, outside of ketones. Okay, additional brain fuel. Why is this not making mainstream research science? Why are we not seeing more of it? Probably because it's too difficult to go back on your own word and say that the burn is good, right? Okay, so point is, we need to create as much of that as we can. Now, here's the kicker. Now, you don't wanna do a bunch of cardio afterwards because that can nullify the effect. But what you do wanna do is about five to 10 minutes of easy cardio. So envision this. I just burned up a bunch of lactic acid in my legs, okay? Volume-wise, maybe 15, 15 minutes of a workout, 20 minutes of a workout, getting a burn. Okay, it's all localized in my legs, it's all localized wherever I was doing it. We wanna get that stuff circulating. What's the best way to get stuff circulating? Get the body moving. So then what do I do? I go and I do five to seven minutes, five to 10 minutes of a little bit of hit or a little bit of easy cardio to get it circulating, get it taken up by the brain. Again, multiple studies that show that high intensity interval training affects the brain. So I'm just learning new ways to hack. This isn't something you do every day. It's not, it's definitely not. You don't do BFR every day. You don't do lactate threshold training every day. If you need to be on your game for a test or you need to be on your game for some kind of performance thing or you need to be on your game because you're public speaking or maybe you have an important Zoom call or an important conference call and you wanna sound smarter, trust me, it works, okay? But it's acute, it's short term and it's the safest, probably the best nootropic that you could possibly do because it's internal, it's endogenous, and your body's capable of it. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And don't forget to check out Four Sigmatic Lion's Mane Mushroom Coffee down below in the description. See you tomorrow.